Okay, so we do that by the special function in object-oriented programming known as a constructor. So in Python, uh, we say uh, init, right? And then we can say, uh, will somebody send me a balance, right? So this one is required. Like for all class methods or functions, we have to use the self parameter. Again, that is not a built-in Python keyword. That's just the standard, uh, industry standard for best practices in Python. It's different in C Sharp, Java, and uh, C++, okay? I think they use the keyword, uh, they use a keyword, it's this, okay? Python does not use a keyword. Okay, so when somebody creates a class, now we are requesting that they give us a starting balance. And we will get that starting balance and assign it to the balance variable that belongs to the class, to this one. Notice that to access variables of a class, we have to use the self <coughs> argument. We have to use it. Otherwise, Python doesn't understand what we're talking about, right? So now I'm saying, hey, you have a balance underscore underscore balance variable, assign it the balance value, okay? See here. Yes, that's correct. So let me uh, go here, and now we're like, okay, let's create a test case. So we go examples, classes, test classes, and let me uh, go here. this one and here we are dealing with classes right uh, it's uh, J classes and we're gonna import I think we do uh, account and then we can import account And we define uh, test uh, account begin balance. Ah, can't type. So now we know what self represent, right? It's required uh, in class creation. Okay, so now I'm like, okay, so I want to create an account. And I need to pass in a begin balance, and that's how we would do that, right? So account equals account, begin balance of 500. So now I know how to create assertions, and I'm like, oh, okay, so I can say that I expect 500 if I call get balance. Yes. So I can run that, but I have to go to run test and change uh, this piece here, right? So I need to go to uh, MJ classes dot no, import test classes. Copy this piece here, and I have to send it in as a parameter in here. Okay and we should be able to run our test case uh takes no arguments let me see here oh has to be in it uh underscore underscore at the beginning underscore underscore at the end now that's uh the special constructor they call uh class variables attributes Initializer. Okay, that's what that's what it does. It helps us initialize class variables, which uh, are known as attributes, right? That describe the account. Let me uh, go here. 
clear. And notice test account begin balance is OK. What was I testing? I was testing that if I initialize the balance to 500 and I get the balance, then it should be 500. And if I go here, let me try to run this piece here. Okay, remember this code was running earlier. Clear. But now it's mad at me because it's saying that I'm missing a required parameter. I didn't provide it, a begin balance. But why did it work initially? Well, because if we do not provide a constructor, then Python provides one for us behind the scenes without no parameter. So it would look something like this, OK? But since I went ahead and provided my own constructor, then Python's like, OK, I'm not going to create one behind the scenes, OK? So to fix this piece, then I have to provide it begins ba balance uh, function argument. And once I do that, my program in main should work just fine. And notice now it works fine. Questions here? Okay, so how does how does this look in memory? Recall uh, that I had kind of just given a brief overview, right, of, of like what uh, something like this would look in stack memory, like create a variable uh, integer type with number value five. Let me copy that code over here. Okay, we have that. And then we have stack memory. The value five would go here, right? Assuming this was main, right? The main, a main function, a function name main. And then we have uh, this one, A. Usually classes require more than one memory block, right? This one requires four bytes because it's an integer. A class, depending on how many variables are defined, may take more than one block, right? So assuming it had more than one variable, then this piece here will represent uh, the variable a which represents an account right and the number 250 would be somewhere in here and assuming we had maybe like the customer ID it would take one block here right we don't have a customer ID in there but as assuming we did so that's how we would uh, look like in memory Questions here? Okay, so stop.